How's it going on guys? I'm Wars SMT here and welcome back again to review and today we're doing another video on 123 Slaughter Me Street. Now the creator of the game has just released me the official names and the official characters to the game. Now, uh, he emailed me this saying that our three creatures, the follower, the blue one, the greeter, the pink one, the waiter, and the green, that's the green one. Now, jokingly for a while, I was calling them Inky, Pinky, and Clyde, like the ghost from Pac-Man. We really want this game to be like an old school video game, very basic, but very challenging. So that's right there a good thing, I, I freaking love the old video games and an old video game type of horror thing while it's based on like Sesame Street and all that kind of stuff is kind of cool. Um, now we're going to look at some of the screenshots here, so this is the follower and greeter as you guys can see, I'm going to just move it a bit. This is the follower and greeter as you guys can see, they look absolutely horrific, just look at that guys. Holy crap, that is, that's actually pretty freaking terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. That That's pretty spooky, you know, pretty spooky. Um, so that's the uh, first image I got sent, and then the next image here is the follower, as you guys can see, which reminds me of Cookie Monster. Uh, she's really terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and uh, there's also the other one, the pink one, which is the greeter, as you guys can see here. And then he messaged me the waiter, the green one, and he opens his mouth. Look at that. He's like, he looks like a dragon lizard almost. That's pretty freaky. Um, so here are my speculations to this. Now I'm not sure if the creature has already confirmed the behavior of them or how they act. But my theory on how they, you know, act and behave is that the follower will do what his name does. He will follow you, as you guys can see. From the trailer, which if you guys want to see my trailer reaction, there should have been the annotation at the beginning of the video. Anyways, the follower, as you guys see in the game play trailer, is following you. He is behind you at all times. And he is waiting to get, well not waiting, but he is following you to get you. And you turn around, shine your light at him, and he stops. I'm confused with how that's going to work too, because he also will jump scare you too when you turn around. So I'm confused on how that works you have to turn around in a certain amount of time you have to shine your light at him a certain amount of time not entirely sure then the greeter as you guys can see here the greeter he doesn't wait behind you he doesn't do anything else he pops out from the corridor doors so you know the hallway doors he pops out from them as you see from the trailer and you shine your light at him when he pops out to ward him away so again i don't have too much ideas of how the gameplay is going to work uh, but from what I've seen in the trailer, that's what it appears to be for me. I think that he's going to do that. I think that he's going to be by the doorway and he's going to get you that way. And if you don't get your way on him, he'll kill you. So basically, you got one behind you and you got one to the sides of you. And then there's the waiter. Now, I talked to the creator of the game about the waiter and he says he's a bit different. Now, when John told me that the well, John, the creator of the game, told me that the waiter was a bit different than the others, this is what really got me thinking. Now, I see because I saw from the gameplay test and the gameplay, you know, that they were talking about. They said that the game is a constant worry. They said that there's no there's no breathers in this game. You you gotta keep on going. You can't stop. You can't just you, you can't stop. You gotta keep on going. Otherwise, you'll die. Because you got one to the set, you know, the side of you, and you got one behind you. I feel like this guy is gonna be in front of you. I feel like that this guy is, because his name's the waiter. He is waiting for you to go to him. He is not just, you know, he's not just sitting there and doing something behind you. He's not on top. Maybe he might be on top of you, like on the ceiling or whatever. But I feel like he's either gonna be in front of you or in the ceiling up like in front of you so you also gotta look up or you gotta you know shine your light in the first side of the hallway and if you don't do that he'll get you that way so you gotta worry about the sides behind and in front and in all directions you have one of these puppets out to kill you or whatever you want to call these things i'm gonna call them puppets since they're based off sesame street and all that kind of stuff but as you guys can see i think this guy is he looks like he's like you know in, in that key position i feel like He's a character that might be on the ceiling or, you know, might be by the doorway and you gotta, you know, use your light or whatever. 
basically the whole gist of this game is to use your flashlight that you have, and it's limited too. I believe the flashlight is limited because they put the detail broken flashlight, I believe, in the Steam Greenlight. Can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure they do. But you know, that's my speculation about this. That's my ideas and my thought about this creature here. Uh, if you guys have your own, comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. And who knows, you guys might be correct. I might be correct. We'll have to think about this together. But if you guys want to, you know, go vote for the game. A link to the game is in the description. It's on the Steam Greenlight page right now, and the official game releases on September 25th. So if you guys are interested in getting the game, make sure you guys vote up the game because I am excited for this game myself. Personally, like I said in my previous videos, this is not sponsored. This is just something that I have a strong interest in playing. I have a strong interest in playing this game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys slap that like button down below. And if you guys are new to my channel and you want to see more videos on this game, or you know, FNAF, I do a lot of FNAF too. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, peace out, and have a good one. Stay awesome.